from Peru. I spent one month traveling through the beautiful country, meeting all kinds of people, meeting with shamans, spiritualists, healers, it was really awesome. I'm actually wearing my Peruvian sweater right now, so this is baby alpaca. So if you go to the market and you shop for sweaters, they will always say, you should try this sweater because this is baby alpaca. So baby alpaca is supposed to really raise the value to whatever sweaters you're buying. So. If you don't know what alpaca is, it's actually a very hairy, smallish version of llama. So this is baby alpaca sweater. <laughs> um, so the three things I've learned from shamans specifically, I wanted to share with you in this video. And the first one was from actually participating in something called dispatio ceremonies. So dispatio is an offering to Mother Earth. Uh, for, throughout Peru, they really um, devote their a lot of their prayers, a lot of the energy to Pachamama. This is my little dolly of Pachamama. So Pachamama is the Mother Earth, and they don't really, you know, pray to God or to Goddess, to Holy Spirit, to Jesus. Although many of them are Catholics, they always pray to Pachamama. So the shamans, the core devotion and the center of the altars would always be Pachamama. All the prayers, there could be a hundred prayers, but they all will be brought in to Pachamama and you know whatever the offering is for the weather, for the harvest, for the personal the thing, whatever they're asking, that's what, who they ask is Pachamama. And there's also Pachatata, which is the mountains, the male energy, so there's always duality, male versus female, and here we speak about angel, we speak about heavenly things, but their goddess actually, it's not in heaven, it's right here and right now, you're standing on it. Everything you want can be provided to you by mother nature, by the earth. And I have the strong connection with elementals as well, so that resonated with me. And the second thing I wanted to show you is the Inca cross. The Inca cross has three symbols on it, and the the bottom part is represented by the snake, uh, which is the symbol of the underworld. This world is represented by the puma, and the world of spirit, the world of ancestors, is represented by the condor. They use these symbols pretty much everywhere. If you have any offering to do, you have to devote something to the serpent, something to puma, and something to condor. You always have to uh, take into account these three worlds that are represented by the symbols. You can see on this one there's a door, the magical door that takes you into another universe. It actually exists, I've been to that site, and it is believed to be created by the aliens, by the UFOs, and there's supposed to be a portal that takes you right into another world, and I tried to knock, they didn't answer. And then the third thing I want to show you are this whole bag of these. These are the cocoa leaves, the leaves of the cocoa tree. And if you are planning on using these, just make sure you don't do uh, a medical test because you will test positive for cocaine. <laughs> uh, but in Peru, everybody chews them. Everybody uses the cocoa leaves because they really help with the altitude sickness. So you can also boil them as a tea or you can just chew on them. So they even have the pictures of Jesus Christ on the cross doing kind of this and the theory suggests that actually Jesus is chewing the coca leaves. So everyone in Peru is chewing the coca leaves. So when they're doing the offerings, what they will typically do, they will choose three coca leaves, three good ones. You're supposed to really wish for whatever your heart's desire is, wishes, you know, to the coca leaves and it will be used as an offering to Mother Earth. You can use it on the altar, you can just throw it in nature, but first you know you have to breathe in your heart energy onto the leaves. 
and then let them go. So trust me, I've chewed a lot of, I've participated in a lot of dispatcher ceremonies and every single person who participates has to make a wish by using the three leaves, the three coconut leaves. Anyway, so those are the three things that I've learned from shamans and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like me to explain a particular ceremony, I'll be more than happy to do that and um, see you guys in the next video.